This is a uh, 100 horsepower known monosupub engine. It's a replica engine that's been built here at Amarco. Uh, we're in the closing stages of uh, getting this engine complete and we thought for, for, for an exercise we would make the front cover exposed so people can see how the cam timing works. It's very unusual because the, it only has one valve, one push rod um, and we thought we'd, people would like to see it. So on the front of the crankshaft here we have a, 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 a timing gear that, that is fixed. That is driving these two idler gears on the outside here. In behind that idler gear is a smaller gear. Now we have a ratio of 1 to 2 on the, the, the gear that's driving this cam pack around. The cam moves at the same, in the same direction the engine but it moves at half the speed of the engine. So that's how we get our timing for our valves. Now you can also see that the, the, we have roller cam followers. Um, it's pretty unusual to have roller cam followers, but back in 1915 they did a very good job of actually solving the problems of, of, of getting the cams to roll up and down smoothly. Fuck, that's wrong too. This is the 100 horsepower known mono pump engine. It gets its name mono because it only has one valve, this one valve and push rod here, one valve per cylinder. Um, it has no carburetor, it gets a rich mixture through the hollow crankshaft, it goes straight into the sump and the, the fuel gets mixed into the sump and then gets passed up into, into the um, combustion chamber through transfer ports which just just under the inside of here. So the way it works is the valve opens and once the piston comes to about two thirds of the way down it closes and then the, the cylinder pulls a vacuum inside it then it pulls a rich mixture out of the sump, the piston goes up and compresses, it fires, it comes down and then as the piston's coming back up to exhaust, this valve opens, it opens, it exhausts, and it stays open until it gets two thirds of a cylinder of clean air again. Um, the mono engine was um, very simple in its day. It was probably one of, it was one of the first um, rotary engines. The reason we chose to build the mono was the fact we could borrow an engine to copy. And also, it's, for rotary engines, it's very simple because it has no carburetor. It's either full on or full off. Um, apparently from the pilot's point of view it's reasonably easy to operate too because once you have the fuel mixture um, set on the tamp here, the fuel ratio set, then there's nothing else to do, you just use the ignition to control the speed. Uh, which is also why it's very important for the prop to be uh, coarse enough to control the speed on the engine. The engine runs at 1250 and produces 100 horsepower. Um, yeah.